<sighs> okay, so the new uh, Lost in Space Netflix series started this weekend. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm super excited. And so I got a toy from the uh, the movie from 98 um, that I didn't have. I didn't actually know existed until... I don't think I knew it existed, actually, until I saw it in a comic shop a while back and I finally got it. But um, before I show it, there's a there's the toys from the movie that I already had. Because I, when this movie came out, I loved it. Because um, I was dumb as a kid, but I loved it. And I wasn't really a kid, I was a teenager, but still. Um, yeah, so here's Major Don West. It's, uh, it's Matt LeBlanc. I know, looks just like him. So that's him. I'm just going to toss these down here. And there's Judy Robinson, uh, Heather Graham, and her wacky, well, actually, her sister's wacky sidekick, Blarp. Who, if you saw the movie, you remember Blarp. And I'm kind of sorry. Um, <clears throat> they didn't make the other sister, Penny, or the mom, actually, Maureen. They didn't make either one. Penny would make more sense to come with Blarp because that was her, her pal. But, uh, that, I mean, there's a whole thing with toy lines where girls don't sell, so they didn't do, you know, 40% of the family because that makes sense. So I guess they're just dead. I don't know. Uh, here's John Robinson, the dad, William Hurt, come here, the weird looking helmet, and a saddle sore type posture. Uh, Gun, kids' trophy, or Will's trophy. He used that at the movie at one point, I think, to kill Future Smith or something. I think he stabbed him. And here's regular Dr. Smith. He's played by Gary Oldman. He has a rocket launcher for some reason. Why'd they let him have that? I don't know. Because, I mean, they knew he was evil in the movie. That's that's him. And yes, he shares the same body as uh, as William Hurt. William Hurt and Gary Oldman are the same person. And of course, because the big theme of these movies were spiders, they all came with spiders. This one, this one bites. Let's see. Can you see that? Let me try it with the other one. See if that works better. Can you focus at all? Okay, there you go. Look at that. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. And so these two were biters. And this one... These two were kind of magnetic. Uh, they were pulsing each other, but they're kind of magnetic. And they also hopped. Like, yep. Stand back, because that's awesome. And then there were a bunch of little bitty ones that came with uh, the Jupiter 2 ship. So that's one of those. And it's trying to focus on the figures instead. Don't focus on the figures. Focus on the little silly looking spider thing instead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, it's a spider. A little bitty magnetic spider sticks to things. So, you go there. Actually, hang on. Please ignore all the Jurassic Park toys in the background. Uh, I have them out because it's my favorite toy line. And let's see if this works. Oh, look at that! Dieter's being attacked by a spider. Didn't think his day could get any worse. Uh, okay, that one is the reverse, so that one won't work. But that one works. Ah, ah, that's great. Okay. Anyway. Uh, move all them aside. Move all the spiders. Move Blarp. Just going to keep... Uh, yeah. Move all them. Thanks, William Hurt. Okay. Go over there. There's Scary Oldman right there. Boom. Future Smith. Let me pull this up. Now, I haven't opened this at all yet. And it's 20 years old. And I'm a little worried because it has movie sounds. That means it's got and a try me thing so that means it has batteries in it for 20 years so we'll see how that works um i do like this aspect of it uh there's a blister card thing behind it but you can't see it because they have this cool cardboard thing in front of it that says warning remove before you see the movie at your own risk they were that worried about spoilers and um you can kind of tell that the spoilers from future smith there's a silhouette look there's some baby spiders uh there's another silhouette, posable spider limbs. So, I mean, they kind of give it away if you look at the box at all, or even if you care at all about, you know, 
I don't see why anybody would care. But still, they do kind of give it away. But I still thought it was a neat gimmick to do this thing. So I haven't removed this. I haven't opened it. I didn't think to grab anything to open it with, so this will be interesting. Uh, so, but I'm going to open it up now. So first, let's pull out this flap. Oh, look at that! <laughs> that actually looks kind of cool. I'm so glad I waited to do that. Uh, no. Oh, let's try the button. Oh, and sure enough, that does not work. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pause for one moment while I get something to cut and probably to take these batteries out. Hold on one second. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, so I got a little thing to cut the tape way up here. Just using a screwdriver because I need that in a second anyway. Okay, so cut the tape. I'm gonna. Oh, before I do show him off. He looks. <laughs> He looks so much neater than I thought he would. It's kind of great. Because in the movie, he's just kind of a CGI mess. So, it's kind of neat looking. Um, there's the rest of the toy line on the back. So, as you can see, I have both the focus. Thank you. There's Will. Oh, gosh, this light. This light. Okay, yeah, it does not want to focus on them. It's Will, Judy. Don, Dr. Smith, Dr. Smith, John, and then like different versions of the robot and Bupin 2, those weird B-Wing knockoff things. So the only regular figures I didn't get were Will Robinson and the other Dr. Smith. Um, kind of want the Will just to have as much of the family as I can, but it's still weird with no Penny or Maureen, so I don't know. They just died in the toy line somewhere, I guess. Okay, so let me... Try to do this with one hand. Okay. Okay, he's got some instructions here. Let's see. He's got ooh, he's got some more little spiders here. Got some little spiders. Dump those out so you can have some more spider friends. Can't have too many spider friends. Oh, these don't look quite as. They're not as dark as the other ones. Okay, and they have obviously little magnet things on it. They're obsessed with magnets for this. Oh, one of them's broken. Oh no, one of them's missing a leg. It's gonna get left behind by the others. And then he'll get eaten because these spiders eat their dead which is a plot point. Um, okay. Uh, twisty things. Okay, I'm going to pause again because those annoy me. So I'm going to undo the twisty things off camera so you don't hear me shouting and shrieking and whatever. Okay, just one second. Okay, so I undid those. I haven't pulled them out yet because just something occurred to me as I was pulling them close to me, and you can't do it because this doesn't work, you know, in an audio-visual thing. But as I was bringing him close to my face, he smells oddly musty. It's not like bad or anything, but I guess it's the cardboard being 20 years trapped or anything. Usually toys have like a like a weird paint smell. This one has almost like an old newspaper smell, like it's a newspaper that's been left in the attic. It's not like bad. It's just very unusual. So unusual that I have to bring it up. Okay. Oops. Okay, now let me remove these little thingies. Okay, be right back. Okay, removed his thingies, and he's free with another twisty. Th okay, hold on, hold on. There's another twisty thing. Just one second. Okay, he's free for real now, and who does he got a neck on him? Look at this. Look at this neck. This is ridiculous. Look this is insane. Um, oh, and one other weird thing about the packaging, being 20 years old. Check out the yellowing on this bubble. Isn't that just... The other one looks shiny and new. This one is yellow. Just super yellow. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, that goes over there. Um, so there's this top-heavy head. Uh, while I had it paused, I was reading the little instructions things just to see 
what kind of things he does. Um, so he's got his bendable neck. He's got some spiders. Sound activation doesn't work. Torso magnet, posable limbs. They have like a weird. I don't know what this means. Cause that doesn't. That doesn't correspond with anything on him. So I'm not sure what that means, but this I'm, I'm curious about. Let's see how this works. So we got some spiders. Okay, we got a spider on his torso. There's a lever back here on his butt. I don't know if you can see. There's a lever on his butt. And let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, he just fell off. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back. Come back. Come back. There you are. Okay. So lever on his butt. Lost the lever, there you are. Oh, I get it. It's supposed to look like it's like wriggling around, wriggling around on him. Can you put more than one? Will they fit? Okay, two spiders. His babies. Oh, that end up eating them. Okay, that's kind of neat. Okay, okay, um. Okay, one last pause because I want to open up this battery compartment and look inside to see how these batteries look. I'm afraid, but uh, I don't want to do it. So, be right back. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Let's see. Let's see. Yep, those, those look fine. They're just dead from... 20 years. I'm just glad they didn't leak or anything. So let me pop those out. I don't know about getting new ones. I might. Ooh, oh, oh, they did leak a little bit. Okay. So get out of Get out of them. Okay. So they leaked a little bit. Uh, not inside. His hole's good. Might have been a little bit on my fingers, so that sucks. So I'm going to cut this in, out in just a second and. Have it be over. Um, might clean that up a little bit just to, just to be safe, but looks like it's intact, so that's good. That's good. Looks like it could be cleaned. And if I want to talk, I can get some batteries for him and make him talk. Um, okay, just one more note though. Like, okay, the magnetic lever thing is they're talking about the spider. That's the thing that make the spiders go swishy swishy. But uh, I just don't understand what this this means right here. Like this is gonna haunt me. I don't know. Overall though, I like him. He's more detailed than the other figures. He's more kind of interesting. It's a fun design. He's a little weird. Um Yeah, Let's see, he was second hand at the shop. He was fifteen dollars, which I think is reasonable for him, especially nowadays considering what toys cost. Um, when he came out, he was probably around the same. I should have looked that up, but I didn't. I'm assuming he was probably somewhere in the fifteen dollars to maybe, hopefully not twenty, but ten to fifteen dollar range. Probably fifteen sounds good. Uh, nowadays, <laughs> if he, this was a new toy, I don't even fathom how much he cost. I'm going to say, depending on the company, he'd be $30. Because he has a talking feature and magnets and stuff. And his box was large. Uh, so overall, I give him a four spiders out of four spiders. No, let's go with four and a half spiders because one of them is missing a leg. So, yeah. Three and a third spiders. Three and two thirds spiders. Three and three and two third spiders. That's my final decision. Nope, three and two thirds spiders and three old batteries that might be leaking things on my coffee table. That is my final decision. And a bonus point for the neat little reveal thing. I really liked that that idea of, you know, do not Oh, and this was his robe in the movie. I kind of wish they would have included that in some way, because that's just a neat outfit. Okay, bye.